Hey guys, Coach RJ here. What we're going to talk about today is some simple mobility things we can do for our necks, especially with what's going on right now with shelter in place. A lot of people are working from home, a lot of bending over laptops and computers, a little bit more in a different setups than we're used to. We're also doing a lot of, for those who have equipment at home, we're doing a lot of pressing overhead. For those who don't have a lot of equipment, doing a lot of pressing push-ups now. A lot of that I know it may not seem like a strain on your neck directly, but it's involved. So we're gonna work through some mobility things today that are gonna target the neck, a little bit of upper chest and back too and shoulder, but mostly neck. So first, we're gonna talk about mobilizing what's called your occiput. It's at the base of your skull and the top of your neck. If you reach behind your head where your skull curves and you have that ridge, that's where your occiput is. You have two, one on either side. Um, you'll feel that little bony prominence sticking out. You'll just need a foam roller. So this you can do standing against the wall, but I would recommend trying the floor. So what will happen is we're going to lay on our back. You're going to lay back on the foam roller as if it's a pillow. You're going to place that roller right on the base of your neck, right where you felt those two bony prominences, that occiput. You can simply sit here and just apply pressure back. You do want a little bit of double chin action. We don't want to be extending our head back like this, for instance. So you want to feel the pressure on the base of your skull, top of your neck with that roller, and again, sit here and apply pressure back. Or we can even tilt and rock really gently side to side. And if things are feeling good, you can apply pressure while you're doing this too. I would recommend going back and forth 10 times. So facing your left and facing your right 10 times each. If it's sensitive or tender, you can just again sit here and apply pressure and let that release or relax over about 30 to 60 seconds. Next, we're actually going to come against the wall here and we're going to work through and around your shoulder blades. This is going to involve your rhomboids and your trapezius in between your shoulder blades, coming across your shoulder blade on what's called your infraspinatus, and then your supraspinatus that's right on top here. So this we're gonna use our lacrosse ball. You'll pin that ball against the wall, whoops, with your body. First, I just want you to locate your shoulder blade. It's going to be really sensitive and tender. Spend about 30 seconds, if it's feeling good, 60 seconds, just mashing around across your shoulder blade. Don't push on anything that's bony really hard. We're just kind of gliding over it. Um, <clears throat> every time you reach forward, reach overhead, reach down, while you're at home on the computer, while you're doing things at home working out, you're using that muscle. And it gets pretty tender and sensitive on a lot of people, and it'll restrict neck movement. Everything we're working on connects up through our neck. Then you're going to actually come over your shoulder blade, right in between that shoulder blade and spine. There's that soft, soft area where your rhomboids and your trapezius are. So that nice little narrow area, we're gonna go up and down between our shoulder blades. Same thing, about 30 to 60 seconds. Mix up your directions and go back and forth, side to side, make some little circles. Just really dig in there. If you find any sensitive or tender spots, work on those, but fight the urge to only mash on those um, sensitive areas. Then we're gonna locate our shoulder blade again, kind of get our bearings of where the ball is. And then we're gonna come right on top of that shoulder blade, going back and forth, right above it. This one can be tough because that ball can kind of pop up and over if you're not careful. <clears throat> And we're just going to go back and forth about 12 to 15 times, side to side. Last but not least, our pec. This one's really important. Everything that is running through our neck is connecting back behind our pecs. We've been doing lots of push-ups, lots of burpees, things where we're pushing away and pressing. If we can get that pec loose too, it's going to help to mobilize our neck a little bit better. Guys, free range, go all over that pec muscle. We just want to stay right below our, our collarbone, so we don't want to push right on the bone, but you can get up against it. Ladies, you're looking at an area about the size of your hand butted up against the bottom of your collarbone. We want to leave our breast tissue alone. The same idea, we're going to pin that lacrosse ball 
against the wall with our body and use that wall to really smash through that pec. So same thing, up and down, side to side, make some circles. You can get over into the front of that shoulder. You can get pretty low and into the front of that armpit. You're probably gonna find that it's gonna be really sensitive and tender through here especially. So about 60 seconds there. Last but not least, now that you've mobilized everything, we've done our smashing, um, we've made that tissue a little bit more malleable and physically warm, now we can stretch it. So easiest thing to do for our neck, hands gonna go just behind our back. We're gonna tilt our head away from that arm that's behind our back and think ear to shoulder. Now from here, if things feel really good, you can also rotate your head and look towards the floor and towards your armpit. See if you find or feel any tightness or any restriction coming through the back and the back side of your neck. And then you can also, we can go back, like I'm tight enough right here, just ear to shoulder that I could hang out and just sit here for a minute, like a literal 60 seconds and stretch it. Or you can explore again the opposite range of motion and rotate looking towards the ceiling and coming back and see if you get any tightness or pulling through there that you may want to alleviate as well. And same thing, now that we've already smashed, you can sit here and hold these stretches for well over a minute. I would recommend a minute 90 seconds if you have time. If not, get at least a minimum of 45 seconds in. And then same thing on the other side. Please fight the urge to pull on your head. If you do, just be gentle. I don't want you to crank on it. You can even come all the way chin to chest. Try to see if you can get, get some pulling through that posterior side as well. Anyway, I hope that helps you guys out mobilizing our neck this week. You know, let's see what happens. Give it all a try when you're done with workouts as we've been kind of going through this series. So try it out if you've got a few minutes when you're done with your at-home workout each day this week. Let's see what kind of you know, mobility changes you notice with your neck and even your shoulders. Thanks guys.